Welcome back to Focus Fanatics. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to configure a cache drawer to open off of an IP printer. This is a new feature added in version 14.4.29, and it eliminates the need for physical terminals and allows your establishments to have a completely mobile solution if they desire. Uh, if you know how to set up a cache drawer already, this is going to be very simple. Uh, so to set this up, you just get yourself in the setup. Uh, first thing you need to have is you need to have your network printer set up. So I've got my bar printer set up here on my IP port and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then once you have your, your printer assigned, you're just going to go ahead and go to location stations. And you can see that on station focus, I am using this bar printer here. And I can go into my devices. And my cache drawer is attached to that IP printer. So to set this up, all I need to do is go ahead and select drawer. And as far as port is concerned, there's a new port down here. Just go ahead and select IP. You're going to go ahead and leave the next four options set to none. So the BOD, parity, data bits, and stop bits, you don't need to mess around with those. And the most important thing here is in the initialize field, you need to set the IP address of the printer. And if you don't know what the IP address is, you should be able to just go into printers, network printers, and see what IP address is being used on that printer. Uh, and then all you need to do is set the access code to the access code for cache drawers uh, assigned to that printer. So if you're using the Epson printer, it would be this code. It could be another code if you're using a different printer. And then you can go ahead and name the drawer if you like, and you hit save, and you hit close, and you're done. So that's all you need to do to set up and a cash drawer to open off of an IP printer. I hope this feature benefits both you and your customers. And until next time, stay focused.